In a statement late Wednesday, Jinnett said he'd noted the accusations but remained committed in his function as Great Lakes envoy to Burundi's peace, democracy and stability. The Jinnett's own decision, I think he took note of the situation. He took note, as uh, mentioned in his statement, of the... Um, of what uh, certain opposition groups had said, certain members of civil society had said. We're now entering a consultation phase. Uh, Mr. Jinnett will be in, uh, in Johannesburg at the AU summit. Uh, he will be talking to the Deputy Secretary General. He'll be talking to uh, regional powers. The Deputy Secretary General will also have contacts. The opposition concerns was that the UN was not directly tackling the main issue of whether President Nkurunziza should even be on the ballot come presidential elections next month, in their view a violation of both the country's constitution and the Arusha agreement. The UN maintained it was trying to procure a situation conducive to a peaceful and transparent poll and given developments will now try to find the best way forward. Presidential elections are now due to be held on July 15th. We all recognize that for a facilitation process, a mediation process to function, uh, all the parties uh, involved uh, need to support uh, the facilitator. Now, Mr. Jinnett, uh, I think, had seen uh, what had been said by certain opposition groups. He decided uh, for, the bene for, the, for the benefit of the process, for the benefit of the Burundian uh, people, uh, that it would be best that he step, uh, he step aside. The UN has called for parties to exercise restraint and refrain from acts that increase tension and violence. Sherwin Bricepies, SABC News, New York.